जनरल सोल्यूशन ऑफ द जनरल सोल्यूशन ऑफ कार्ट एक्स इज इक्वल टू के द जनरल सोल्यूशन ऑफ द जनरल सोल्यूशन ऑफ कार्ट एक्स इज इक्वल टू के
sin square x is equal to k has solution. When they have the solution, when sin square x is equal to k has solution, if and only if k is belongs to closed interval 0, 1, closed interval 0, 1, then they have a solution that is then sin solution. Otherwise, not a solution. So sin square x, you know the sin square x is equal to k has solution if and only if k is belongs to closed interval 0, 1. Closed interval 0, 1. Let alpha be the let alpha be the any principal solution. Let alpha be the principal solution. Let alpha be the principal solution. Then, then sin square alpha is equal to k. Sin square alpha is equal to k. We want the sin square x equal to k general solution. Sin square x is equal to k. What is the value of k? Alpha is the principal solution. So, sin square x alpha is equal to k. In the place of k, write sin square alpha. That is, sin square x is equal to sin square alpha. Sin square x is equal to sin square alpha. Both sides multiply by minus 2. Both sides multiply by minus 2. We get here minus 2 sin square x is equal to minus 2 sin square alpha. And add, both sides add plus 1. We get 1 minus. 2 sin square x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square alpha. 1 minus 2 sin square x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square alpha. Clearly, it is in the form of 1 minus 2 sin square theta. 1 minus 2 sin square theta. How do we know that? Cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So, 1 minus 2 sin square x. 1 minus 2 sin square x can be written as cos 2 theta. It is nothing but cos 2x is equal to. Again, 1 minus 2 sin square theta. 1 minus 2 sin square theta can be written as cos 2 theta. This can be written as cos 2 alpha. Cos 2 alpha. How do we have cos x is equal to cos theta is equal to cos alpha. Cos theta is equal to cos alpha. Is equal to alpha. What is the? How do we know that? We know that cos theta is equal to cos alpha. Cos theta is equal to cos alpha. The general solution is the general solution is here. General solution is equal to general solution is equal to clearly theta is equal to the general solution theta is equal to clearly cos theta is equal to cos alpha. Cos theta is equal to cos alpha means what is the general solution here? 2n 2n pi plus or minus alpha. 2n pi plus or minus alpha. 2n pi plus or minus alpha is the general solution of general solution of cos x is equal to cos theta is equal to cos alpha. What we have discussed in the previous, that is cos theta is equal to cos alpha. Cos theta is equal to cos alpha. What is the general solution of theta is 2n pi plus or minus alpha. 2n pi plus or minus alpha. But here we have cos 2x is equal to cos 2 alpha. Cos 2x is equal to 2 alpha means in the place of theta we have 2x. So 2x is equal to 2x is equal to 2x is equal to means theta is equal to means what? 2x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. 2n pi, 2n pi plus or minus alpha means we have 2 alpha. So 2x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. 2x is equal to 2n pi plus or minus alpha. If you take the sum, 2x is equal to 2 times of n pi plus or minus alpha. 2 to n cancel, x is equal to n pi plus or minus alpha. N pi plus or minus alpha. N pi plus or minus alpha is the N pi plus or minus alpha is the where N is belong to Z. Here, 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 also, here, 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 x is equal to n pi plus or minus alpha. n pi plus or minus alpha where n is belongs to z. Where n is belongs to z is the general solution of the quantum number equation. Same, same, same about this equation. What is the general solution of cos square x is equal to k means cos square x is equal to k. Cos square x is equal to k. General solution is Cos square x equals to k general solution is clearly x is equal to n pi plus or minus alpha, n pi plus or minus alpha, where n is belongs to z. Here also, 
What is the general solution of general solution of the general solution of the cross for x equals k? The general solution of cross for x equals k is also x is equals n pi plus or minus alpha. Clearly, here also k is belongs to flow distribution of zero to one. Same term, same same as the general solution of general solution. What is the general solution of tan for x equals to k? Tan for x equals to k means what is the general solution of tan for x equals to k? Here k is clearly k is belongs to closed interval zero to infinite zero to infinite. Open it rather less. K is belongs to closed interval zero to infinite. So what is the general solution means? Is equal to clearly n pi plus sine of sine of sine is belongs to. n pi plus alpha n pi plus alpha minus alpha where is that is belongs to there so sin square x equals to k sin square x equals to k the general solution is n pi plus alpha minus alpha sin square x equals to k general solution is n pi plus alpha minus alpha cos square x equals to k the general solution is clearly n pi plus alpha minus alpha tan square x equals to k tan square x equals to k the general solution is clearly n pi plus alpha minus alpha where n is belongs to set this is How to find the general solution of a cos x plus b sin x plus c is equal to zero? The general solution of next one. The general solution of general solution of a cos x plus b sin x equals to c. The general solution of a cos x plus b sin x is equal to c. Where? Where? A comma B comma C is belongs to R. How to find the general solution of A cos x plus B sin x equals to C? Then A B C belongs to R. Then A B C belongs to R. And A square A square plus B square value is not equal to zero. A square plus the coefficient of cos x and coefficient of sin x A square plus B square is not equal to zero. And A plus C also not equal to zero. A plus C is also not equal to zero. How to find the general solution? General solution of the general trigonometric equation is that is a cos x plus b sin x. A cos x plus b sin x. We want the general solution. Proof of the theorem. Given given equation. Given equation. A cos x plus a cos x plus clearly b sin x. B sin x is equal to c. A cos x plus b sin x is equal to c. Is the given trigonometric equation. We want the general solution of the given trigonometric equation. Already we know that cos x and sin x, cos x and sin x have the formula in terms of tan. So total this trigonometric equation turned into one trigonometric single trigonometric equation that is tan. So a cos cos x cos x can be written as one minus one minus tan square x by two by one plus tan square x by two. Already we know that cos theta cos two theta. Cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. Cos 2 theta, cos 2 theta equals 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. So cos theta is equal to 1 minus tan square theta by 2 by 1 plus tan square theta by 2. So cos 2 cos x can be written as 1 minus tan square x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. What is the formula for sine x in terms of sine 2 theta in terms of tan theta? Clearly, 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. So sine x means clearly 2 tan x by. What is the sine 2 theta is equal to 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. 2 tan x by 2. Here we have x. So 2 tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2 is equal to c. What is the LCM here? LCM is clearly one plus tan square x by two. So a into one minus tan square x by two plus b into two tan x by two is equal to clearly. Denominators have same that is one plus tan square x by two. If you transform, we get one plus tan square x by two. If you multiply a into one tan a minus tan square x by two. Plus b into two, that is two b tan x by two. If you transform this term, that is minus c minus c tan square x by two is equal to zero. If you take tan square tan square x by two, if you take tan square x by two, our minus tan square x by two is common. We get plus c plus 
here we get C A plus C plus 2B tan X by 2 and here constant A minus C is equal to A minus C is equal to B. So if you multiply both sides minus we get here A plus C into A plus C into plus tan square X by 2 minus 2B tan X by 2 minus 2B tan X by 2 minus A that is plus C minus A. C minus A is equal to here. Minus A that is plus C. If you multiply by both sides minus. Clearly it is in the form of quadratic equation in terms of tan. Quadratic AX square. AX square plus AX square plus BX plus C in terms of AX square plus BX plus C. We want the solution here. We know the formula that is minus B tan square x by 2 is equal to tan square x by 2 is equal to tan x by 2 is equal to clearly minus b plus or minus minus b means clearly minus into minus plus b plus 2b minus b means b value here minus 2b plus 2b plus or minus square root of b square b square means here minus 2b whole square we get 4b square b square minus 4ac minus 4ac that means 4 times of c plus a into c minus a clearly c square minus a square by 2a 2 times of a is clearly a plus c so tan x is equal to tan x by 2 we want the solution how to find a x square plus b x plus c is equal to how to find the solution by using a quadratic formula is nothing but minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a minus b plus or minus square root of plus or minus sorry here plus or minus minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so clearly tan x by 2 equals 2 by 2b tan x by 2 is equal to 2b plus or minus if you take 4 as common we get square root of 4 means 2 we get 2 into b square minus c square plus a square b square minus c square plus a square by that is 2a if you take 2 as down here we get 2 times of b plus or minus square root of b square minus c square plus a square by 2a a is nothing but how much 2 a plus c clearly 2 times of a plus c 2 and 2 get cancelled so tan x by 2 is equal to tan x by 2 is equal to b plus or minus square root of b square minus c square plus a square by a plus c so tan x by 2 tan x by 2 is equal to b plus or minus square root of b square minus c square plus a square by a plus c so tan x by 2 tan x by 2 has solution tan x by 2 has solution if if clearly c square value c square value is less than or equal to a square plus b square means c value c value is less than or equal to c value is less than or equal to a plus b then c then tan x and x by 2 have solution otherwise not a solution why because if a square plus b square value is greater than the c square value is greater than the c square this value becomes negative negative value so here not a negative solution that's why tan x by 2 has solution if and only if c square value is less than or equal to a square plus b square value that is a square plus b square value so clearly c is belongs to c is belongs to close interval minus times of square root of a square plus b square gamma plus times of square root of a square plus b square then only tan x by 2 has solutions otherwise not a get solution c is compulsory belongs to minus times of square root of a square plus b square gamma square root of a square plus b square then only we get the solution otherwise not a get a real solution or square you get square root of negative number that is complex number so compulsory c is belongs to minus times of square root of a square plus b square gamma plus times of square root of a square plus b square so let let tan x by 2 tan x by 2 has a solution alpha i is the alpha let alpha i alpha i is the alpha i is the solution of tan x by 2 tan x by 2 there are two solutions that is k1 and k2 clearly k1 is k1 and k2 that is equal tan x by 2 is equal to k i times of alpha i k i times of alpha i where i is equal to i is equal to 1 comma 2 that means there are two solutions that is k1 is equal to that is k1 
what is the value of theta? So, the here sin 2 theta minus cos 3 theta is 0. 0 theta is here the active angle. We want the value of theta. If you transform minus cos theta, cos 3 theta from LHS to RHS, it will become plus quantity already we know. So, sin 2 theta is equal to 2. It will become cos 3. Already we know that sin 90 minus theta. Sin 90 minus theta. Sin 90 minus theta is equal to clearly cos theta. Sin 90 minus theta is equal to clearly cos theta. So, by using of this sign theta is sin 2 theta is equal to cos 3 theta can be written as cos theta can be written as sin 90 minus theta. So, cos 3 theta can be written as sin 90 minus theta. Sin 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta clearly cos theta. So, we get cos theta. Compare LHS and RHS, we get here 2 theta is equal to 90 minus 3 theta. Clearly, sin 2 theta is sin 90 minus theta. If you compare LHS and RHS, compare LHS and RHS, 2 theta is equal to 90 minus theta. If you transpose minus 3 theta from RHS to LHS, it will become positive. That is, 2 theta plus 3 theta is equal to 90, 5 theta is equal to 90, theta is equal to clearly 90 by 5. 90 by 5. 5 on 5, 80. So, theta is equal to clearly 80. Theta is equal to how much clearly? 80. This is. Next, observe here, third one. If 3 tan theta is equal to cot theta, if 3 tan theta is equal to cot theta, then we want the value of theta. Observe here, the solution. 3 tan theta, 3 tan theta. Cot theta, cot theta in terms of tan, clearly we want by tan. Cot theta can be written as 1 by tan. If you transpose tan theta from RHS to LHS, it will become C. multiplication point. Here it is B is one. So it will become multiplication point. Here the 3 tan square theta is equal to how much? 1. 3 tan square theta. Tan theta into tan theta, 3 tan square theta. 3 times cos theta is equal to 1. If you transpose 3 from LHS to RHS, it will become clearly division quantity. Right? Because here 3 is multiplication quantity. If you transpose compulsory, it will become division quantity. So tan square theta is equal to tan square theta is equal to how much? 1 by 3. Tan square theta is equal to 1 by 3. So tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to. If you transpose square from LHS to RHS, it will become plus of and square of the 1 by 3. So tan theta is equal to plus of minus square of 1 means 1 only square of 3. So 1 by square of 3 we So clearly we know that that is tan theta is equal to plus of minus tan that is tan 30 value. Tan 30 value 1 by 3. Tan 30 value how much? 1 by 3. So tan 30 is equal to Plus one by two three can be written as tan theta. Compare LHS and RHS. We get here theta is equal to plus or minus five degrees. Plus or minus five by six. Next, five by six is how much? Five by six degrees. Plus or minus five degrees. Next one. The principal value. The principal value of theta plus five by four. The principal value of theta plus five by four. Where sine theta plus cos theta is equal to four. Given that. Given that. Sin theta plus cos theta is equal to 1. Both sides, LHS and RHS, LHS and RHS, divided by, divided by square root of 2. LHS and RHS, both sides are divided by square root of 2. We get here clearly. Both sides divided by root 2. So, if you Subtract the denominator, we get here clearly 1 by root 2 into sin theta plus here also. 1 by square root of 2 into cos theta is equal to 3. We have 1 by square root of 2. 1 by square root 1 by root 2 express in terms of cos. 1 by root 2 express in terms of cos. So, clearly, cos 45 degrees. Cos 45 degrees is how much? Cos 45 degrees is how much? 1 by root 2. So, this can be written as cos 45 is nothing but 5 by 4 degrees into sin theta plus 1 by root 2 express in terms of sin theta. Because we have a formula that is sin a into cos theta plus cos a into sin theta. So 1 by root 2 express in terms of sin. Here this is also sin 
5 by 4 into cos theta is equal to 1 by square root of 1. Here is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin a cos b plus sin a cos b plus cos a sin b is nothing but sin a plus b. Sin a plus b. That is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b is nothing but how much? Sin a plus b. So we get here sin a plus b means 5 by 4 plus theta. 5 by 4 plus theta. Half theta plus 5 by 4. Is equal to 1 by square root of 2. 1 by square root of 2. So, 1 by square root of 2. 1 by square root of 2 value. How much in terms of sign? Clearly. 5 by 4 plus theta is equal to. 5 by 4 plus theta is equal to. Here also clearly that is sign 5 by 4. Sign 5 by 4. Sign of 5 by 4. Sin of 5 by 4 plus theta is equal to sin 5 by 4. So, compare LHS and RHS we get here 5 by 4 plus theta is equal to how much? 5 by 4. We want theta plus 5 by 4 value. Theta plus 5 by 4 value how much? 5 by 4. That is theta plus 5 by 4. Is equal to how much? 5 by 4. 5 by 4 plus theta. Of theta plus 5 by 4 is equal to how much? 5 by 4. That is the principal value of theta plus 5 by 4. Theta plus 5 by 4 is nothing but 5 by 4 radians. Next, if root 3 times of cos theta minus sin theta is equal to 1, then the value of theta will be 1. So, given that solution, square root of 3 cos theta minus sin theta is equal to 1. So, both sides divided by 2, that is equal to 1 by 2. Both sides divided by 2. So, root 3 cos theta minus sin theta by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. 2 get cancelled, the equation is, does not change. So, separate the denominator, we get here. Square root of 3 by 2 into cos theta minus 1 by 2 into sin theta is equal to clearly 1 by 2. What is the value? Square root of 3 by 2 in terms of sin. Why? Because we have a formula that is sin a cos sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b is nothing but sin a minus b. So sin a. So this can be expressed in terms of sin a. Square root of 3 by 2 in terms of sin clearly that is sin 60 value. Sin 60 value is clearly how much? Square root of 3 by 2. So this can be expressed in terms of sin 60 means sin 5 by 3. 180 by 3 is nothing but 60. So sin 5 by 3 means how much? Square root of 3 by 2 into cos theta minus 1 by 2 in terms of cos. Well, because sin a cos minus cos a sin a. So, 1 by 2 in terms of cos, cos, cos 60 value, cos 60 value 1 by 2. Cos 60 value how much? 1 by 2. So, cos 60 can be written as cos 5 by 2 into sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. It is in the form of sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b clearly sin a minus b. So, sin a. A minus, that is 5 by 3 minus theta. A minus, A is here sin A cos B minus cos A sin B, sin A minus B, that is sin 5 by 3 minus theta is equal to 1 by 2 in terms of sin. 1 by 2 in terms of sin, that is sin, sin 5 by, sin 30 value, sin 30 value 1 by 2. So, the sin 30 means sin 5 by 6 value. Sin 5 by 6 value, how much 1 by 2, that is sin 30 value 1 by 2. If you compare LHS and RHS, we get here 5 by 3 minus theta is equal to 5 by 6. We want the value of theta. If you transpose 5 by 6 here, we get theta is equal to 5 by 3 minus 5 by 6. 5 by 3 minus 5 by 6. What is the LCM of 3 and 6 is clearly 6 is the LCM. 3 once 3, 2 is 6, 2 into 5, 2 by minus 5. 6 1 is 6, 1 into 5 is equal to 5. That is equal to 2 pi minus 5, clearly 5 by 6 is the answer. Theta is equal to how much? Theta is equal to 2 pi by 6. This is the answer. Next problem is here. Cos 2 theta is equal to 2 sin square theta. Cos 2 theta is equal to 2 sin square theta. Value of, we want the value of theta. So, we know that cos 2 theta form. Cos 2 theta in terms of sin cos 2 theta in terms of sin is clearly 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Is equal to how much? 2 sin square theta. Cos 2 theta in terms of sin 
in terms of sign value is 1 minus 2 sin square. The already we know that cos 2 theta formula. 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin square theta or 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. That is the formula for cos 2 theta. So we want cos 2 theta in terms of sin clearly 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So 1 minus 2 sin square theta equals 2 sin square theta. If you transpose, this is minus 2 sin square theta from L is to it becomes clearly plus. So 2 sin square theta plus 2 sin square theta clearly 4 sin square theta is equal to how much 1? Minus 2 sin square theta if you transpose L is to RHS is clearly plus 2 square 2 sin square theta. 2 sin square theta plus 2 sin square theta clearly 4 sin square theta is equal to 1. So we want theta. Sin square theta is equal to clearly 1 by 4. But is if you transpose 4 from L is to RHS it becomes less than 1. That is 1 by 4. So, if you transpose square, we get here sin theta is equal to plus or minus square plus 1 by 4. Plus or minus square plus 1 by 4. So, sin theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 is clearly 1. Square root of 4 means we get here. So, plus or minus 1 by 4. Plus or minus 1 by 4. So, sin theta is equal to clearly theta is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2. That means sin 30 degrees. Sin 30 degrees is 1 by 2. So, plus or minus theta is equal to plus or minus. 30 degrees. Value of theta is nearly how much? Plus or minus 30 degrees. Theta. We want the value of theta that is plus or minus 30 degrees. Next problem. If cot theta minus tan theta, cot theta minus tan theta is equal to, then principal value of theta. We want the principal value of theta. So given that solution, cot theta minus tan theta is equal to. Cot theta in terms of tan, clearly 1 by tan theta, 1 by tan theta minus tan theta equals 2. If you do LCM here, we get tan theta into tan into tan, 1 minus tan into tan, clearly tan square theta is equal to 2. If you transpose tan theta from LHS to RHS, it becomes multiplication quantity, clearly 1 minus tan square theta is equal to 2 tan. If you transpose total term from LHS to RHS, it will become, if you transpose minus tan square theta from LHS to RHS, it will become plus tan square theta. So plus tan square theta plus 2 tan theta. If you transpose plus 1, it will get minus. So 2 tan square theta plus 2 tan theta minus 1 is equal to. Tan square theta plus 2 tan theta minus 1 is equal to. So it's, it is clearly quadratic expression in the where well as here tan. So we want tan theta. So clearly tan theta is equal to we have a formula to find the solution of quadratic equation. Clearly minus b plus or minus minus b plus or minus cos root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. We have a formula for this. Minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to minus b. B value how much here? That is clearly 2. So minus 2 plus or minus. B square, we are saying B square means 2 square minus 4AC, 4 into. What is the coefficient of tan square that is clearly 1? So 4 into 1 into C and clearly minus 4. By 2A, 2 into 1. Here A value clearly compared to AX square plus BX plus C, clearly A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, and C is equal to minus 1. If you substitute, we get tan theta equals minus 1 plus 1 square root of 4 minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 by 2. That is equal to tan theta is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus into minus plus 4 by 3. That is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 4 by 2. That is equal to tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to. We get minus 2 plus or minus square root of 8 by 2. Minus 2 plus or minus square root of 8 by 2. If you take 2 as common here, we get minus 2 plus or minus root 8 can be written as 2 root 2. 4 to the 8, root 4 means we get 2. So root 8, square root of 8 means we get 2 root 2. But if you take 2 as common here, that is sad theta is equal to. If you take 2 as common, minus 1 plus or minus square root of 2 by 2. 2 root get cancelled. So tan theta is equal to. Tan theta is equal to. Tan theta is equal to minus 1, minus 1 plus square root of root 2 or minus 1 minus square root of So, tan theta is equal to already we know that tan theta is equal to square root of 2 minus 1. Square root of 2 minus 1. Tan theta is equal to root 2 minus 1. Sand 
that is tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to tan twenty two and half degrees. Tan twenty two and half degrees clearly. Tan twenty two and half degrees. That is how much? Tan twenty two and half degrees clearly. Square root of two minus one. Square root of two minus one. So that is tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to clearly tan pi by d. Tan pi by d. That is theta is equal to clearly how much? Pi by 8. We want the theta, right? So tan theta is equal to how much? Pi by 8 is the answer. Theta is equal to pi. We want the theta. That is. Next one is the the principal solution of secant theta is equal to square root of two. The principal solution of secant theta is equal to square root of two. Secant theta is secant x is equal to k. Have principal solution if and only if modulus of k is compulsory greater than or equal to plus one. That means. So alpha exists when cos x is equal to one by k. Is alpha is exists that is clearly given that secant theta is equal to square root of two. We want in terms of cos that is one by cos theta. Secant theta is equal to one by cos theta. So one by cos theta is equal to square root of two. Cos theta is equal to one by square root of two. That means secant x is equal to k. Cos x is equal to one by k. Cos x is equal to one by k. So we want the value of theta. The principal solution of the theta means observe here. Cos theta is equal to one by root two in terms of cos. One by root two in terms of cos. Clear? That is cos pi by eight. Four. Cos pi by four. Cos forty five degrees. Cos forty five degrees is one by root two. We want theta. So principal solution here. Theta is equal to clear? Pi by four. Theta is equal to pi by four. Is the principal solution of the given trigonometric equation. That is pi. Next, what is the value of the theta we want? So tan theta is equal to solution. We know that. We know that that is tan theta is equal to tan one twenty minus theta into. Tan 120 plus theta is equal. So already we learned in previous that is clearly tan theta. This value clearly how much? Tan theta into tan 120 minus theta into tan 120 plus theta. Tan theta into tan 120 minus theta into tan 120 plus theta. Clearly tan 3 theta. This value is how much? Tan 3 theta. So they give tan 3 theta. This value how much? Tan 3 theta. Tan Three theta is equal to one by square root of three. We want the theta. What is the general solution of the theta? So tan three theta is equal to tan three theta is equal to one by root three can be expressed in terms of tan. That is tan 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 thirty value. Tan thirty value. How much tan thirty is clearly one by root three, one by square root of three. So this can be expressed as tan pi by six. Tan pi by six. If tan Theta is equal to tan alpha. What is the tan tan theta is equal to? If tan theta is equal to tan alpha, then theta is equal to clearly then theta is equal to what? N pi plus alpha. How many degrees more than that is the general solution of tan x is equal to k. Tan x is equal to k. So tan theta is equal to tan alpha. Then theta is equal to n pi plus alpha. So tan theta is equal to tan alpha. Tan theta is equal to tan alpha. Theta is equal. Theta is equal to theta is equal. Yen pi, yen pi plus alpha is here pi by six. That is alpha by how much pi by six? So we want theta. So theta is equal to if you transpose plus three from LHS to RHS, the opposite is multiplication quantity. If you transpose RHS, it will become zero. That is the quantity. That is that is yen pi plus pi by six into one by three. That is BMD. Yen pi by three plus pi by three six is eighty. Here we have the answer. So theta is equal to yen pi by three. Theta is equal to yen pi by three plus pi by eighty. Where it is belongs to zero. The most general value of theta. The most general value of theta. That is side side of equation. Side theta is equal to one by two. Come on. Cos theta is equal to minus one by square root of two. We give the solution. That is, sine theta is equal to one by square root of two. Come on. Cos theta is equal to minus 
1 by the square root of cos theta is equal to minus square root of 1 by 2. Observe here that is this is x axis, this is here the y axis. In q1, this is q1, this is q2, q3, this is q. How do we know all silver D cups? That is all. All trigonometric ratios are positive. Silver means sin and sin theta and cosecant theta are positive or positive remaining or negative. T means that is tan theta and cot theta are positive remaining or negative. All silver T means here cups, cups means cos theta and its reciprocal secant theta is theta positive remaining or so, observe here, sin theta, cos theta. Sin theta is positive, cos theta is negative. Sin theta is positive, sin theta is positive if and only if that is q1 or q2. Sin theta is positive if and only if q1 or q2. In q1, quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, only the sin theta is positive. So, cos theta is negative, cos theta is negative if and only if second quadrant and fourth, third quadrant are cos is negative. What is the common solution for theta here? The common solution for theta is theta clearly theta is branch to sin positive cos negative clearly is in q2 sin is positive sin and the cos is negative. So theta composite belongs to q. Theta is belongs to sin positive and cos negative. If and only if theta lies in quadrant 2, then we get sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 and cos theta is equal to minus 1. We want the general value of general value of theta. General value of theta. So sin theta, if you take sin theta is equal to 1 by 2, sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 and cos theta is equal to also minus 1 by 2. How do we know that? Sin 45 degrees. Sin 45 means what? Pi by 4. But pi by 4 in first quadrant. We want in second quadrant. We want in second quadrant. That is, that is, sin theta. Sin theta is equal to 1 by square root of 2. We know that sin pi by 4. Pi by 4. That means sin 45 value. Sin 45 value. How much? Sin 45 value. Clearly that is 1 by 2. But it is in Q1. We want in Q2. Q2. That is theta is equal to. Here also. Theta is equal to. Theta is equal to. Clearly. Clearly. Pi by 4 value. How much? Pi by 4. Pi by 4 value. 1 by root 2. Sin pi by 4 value 1 by root 2. Again, again, sin 3 pi by 4. 3 pi by 4. Sin 3 pi by 4 also, we get sin 3 pi by 4 also. How much? 1 by 2. So, in second quadrant, that is pi minus pi by 4. Pi minus pi by 4. That is pi minus pi by 4. That is 4 pi minus pi. 4 pi minus pi. 3 pi by 4. Sin 3 pi by 4 value also 1 by square root of 2. Sin 3 by 4. So theta clearly it is pi minus pi minus pi by 4. Pi minus pi by 4 clearly 3 pi by 4. So clear, theta we are clearly like it in, in second quadrant. In second quadrant. So we want so cos theta also cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to minus 1 by square root of 2. Here also theta is equal to theta is equal to much here also theta value. 3 pi by 4. Cos 3 pi by 4 value minus 1 by square root of 2. Cos 3 pi by 4 3 pi by 4 value. So 3 pi by 4 means it lies in second quadrant. In second quadrant, that is negative form quantity. So we get minus 1 value. We want the general solution. Therefore, the most general value of the most general value. The most general value of theta is equal to the most general value of theta. The most general value of theta is equal to. How do we know that this is this is theta is equal to 3 pi by 4? Here theta is equal to also 3 pi by 4. What is the common solution? What is the common solution for the 
both sine and cos clearly that is 2n pi plus alpha that is 2n pi plus 2n pi plus 3 pi by 4 3 pi by 4 is the the most the most general solution of so the most general value, the most general value of theta is clearly that means it is it is what it is n pi n pi this is 2n plus half and plus of pi by 2. The most common value, the most general value, the most general value of these two satisfy only theta is equal to 2n pi plus 3 pi by 4. 2n pi plus half. 2n pi plus alpha sine and cos satisfy this equation that is 2n pi plus 3 pi 4. Next, the most general value, second one, the most general value of solution of tan theta is equal to minus 1 and cos theta is equal to 1 by square root of Observe here the solution clearly. Clearly. Given that tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to minus 1, cos theta is equal to 1 by square root of tan theta is equal to minus 1 again, okay. right here, that is. Here all that is silver P cos. All silver P cos. All recommended ratios, sin and cosecant, tan and cos, cos means cos and secant are positive. Tan is negative, cos is positive. Tan is negative if and only if second and fourth quadrant. Second and fourth quadrant, tan is negative. Second and fourth quadrant, tan is negative, but cos is positive. In second quadrant, cos is positive. In second quadrant, cos is positive. Clearly, theta, theta is belongs to. Really, theta is not the one. Why? Because sin tan is negative. Tan is negative only in two possibilities, that is second and fourth. But here, second equation, cos is positive. Cos is positive is only, that is one and four. But common solution of theta is equal to the common solution. Theta is compulsory, it belongs to q4. The common solution of theta is compulsory. Lie between Q4 only. Why? Because tan is negative, cos is positive, only one quadrant that is fourth quadrant. So we want tan theta is equal to minus 1. Tan theta is equal to minus 1. Tan theta is equal to minus 1. How to? We know that tan theta is equal to minus 1 means plus 1 means tan pi by 4 value. How much? Tan pi by 4. That is tan 45 value. Tan 45 value. How much? 1. But here minus 1 is there. So in fourth quadrant, this is common solution. Fourth quadrant, tan and tan theta and here cos theta in fourth quadrant. We want the value of this one. This is total. That is clearly. We want in fourth quadrant, in fourth quadrant, this is if you take this is minus 5 by 4. Sign of tan of minus 5 by 4, tan of minus 4 by 5 by 4. We have a minus one. So we want the solution. What is the solution for this? Is clearly, clearly, two by minus pi by four. If you take in clockwise direction, that is minus pi by four. It satisfies the condition tan theta is equal to tan of minus pi by four. Tan theta is equal to tan of minus pi by four. That is clearly how much minus one. But we want in this is anti clockwise direction. We want theta is positive. Here, observe here. 2 by 2 by minus theta is equal to clear the important part. That is 2 by minus 5 by 4. 4 to the 8, 8 minus 5 that is theta is equal to 7 by 5. Theta is equal to 7 by 7 by 5. So, tan theta is equal to minus 1. If and only if and theta is equal to clear the 7 pi by 4 value. Tan theta is equal to 7 pi by 4 value minus 1. Also, cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to 1 by square root of 2. So theta is equal to here also 7 pi by 4. 7 pi by 4. The most general solution of the most general solution of the solution of is equal to theta is equal to 
What is the period? Clearly the period is 2 pi. Here also the period is 2 pi. So that's why right. 2, 2 pi. 4 pi. 6 pi. So period is 2 pi. The most general solution of theta is equal to 2. That is integral multiples of pi. That is 2 and pi. We want general solution. Is, general solution is the expression. General solution is the expression. That is theta naught plus f of n. f of n is the function. f of n is the function. Theta naught is the principal solution. We want f of n. Function is clearly tan cos. The period is clear. Compulsory 2 pi. So 2 and pi is plus. What is the value of theta is equal to 7 pi by 4. So theta is equal to 2 and pi plus 7 pi by 4. Theta is equal to 2 and pi by 2 and pi plus 7 pi by 4 is the most general solution of tan theta is equal to minus 1 and cos theta is equal to 1 by 2. Here also 2 pi is the period. So 2 pi is the period. So 2 pi means 2 pi, that is 4 pi, that is 6 pi and 8 pi and so on. So take n value and is gone here also n is belongs to n, n is belongs to zr pi. Here also n is belongs to zr, n is belongs to zr i. So here also f of n plus theta naught. f of n is a function, function that is that is consisting of pi. So 2n pi plus what is the principal solution here? 3 pi by 4. So 2n pi plus 3 pi by 4 is the here most general value. Here the most general value is theta is equal to 2n pi. 2n pi plus 7 pi by 4 is the answer. Next problem, the general solution of the general solution of 1 by cos theta plus 1 by cos 3 theta is equal to 1 by cos pi theta minus 1. The general solution. Observe the general solution. The general solution is given that what is the LCM of cos theta and cos 3 theta is clearly cos theta n2 cos 3 theta is the LCM. So that is we get here cos 3 theta plus cos 3 theta plus cos theta p if you will is equal to 1 by cos pi theta. If you do cross multiplication we get here cos 3 theta plus cos half by one is here cos 3 theta into cos 5 theta plus cos theta into cos 5 theta is equal to we get 1 into this is that is cos theta into cos 5 theta if you multiply cross multiplication means we get this is so both sides multiply by 2 we get both sides multiply by 2 we get here 2 cos 30 into Sorry, 2 cos 3 theta into cos 5 theta plus 2 cos theta into cos 5 theta is equal to 2 cos theta into cos 3. We know that 2 cos a cos b. 2 cos a cos b. 2 cos a cos b is nothing but cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. Cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is equal to 2 cos a cos b. That is cos a plus b cos a plus b 3 theta plus 5 theta clearly 8 theta plus cos a minus b clearly cos 3 theta minus 3 theta minus 5 theta we get minus 2 theta but cos of minus theta is equal to plus cos theta so cos 2 theta plus again 2 cos a cos b 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos sum plus cos difference that is cos sum plus that is cos sum is nothing but theta plus 5 theta we get 6 theta plus cos difference that is cos theta minus 5 theta cos minus 4 theta cos of minus theta plus cos theta so we get here plus cos 4 theta is equal again it is the form of 2 cos a cos b 2 cos a cos b is equal cos sum plus cos difference cos sum plus cos sum is nothing but theta plus 3 theta 4 theta plus cos difference we get cos 2 theta cos 4 theta cos 4 theta get cancelled cos 4 theta cos 4 theta Again, cos 2 theta, cos 2 theta get cancelled. We get here cos 8 theta, cos 8 theta, 8 theta plus cos 6 theta is equal to how much? 0. We know that cos c plus cos d. What is the value of the formula for cos c plus cos d? Cos c plus cos d. Cos c plus cos d is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2. 2 cos c plus d by 2. 2 cos, 2 cos. C plus D by 2, 8 plus 6, clearly 8 plus 6, 14, 14 by 2, that is 7 theta into 2 cos C plus D by 2 into cos C minus D by 2, that is cos 8 minus 
six theta is nothing but two theta. Two theta by two, we get theta is equal to zero. Cos c plus cos d. Cos c plus cos d. Two cos c plus d by two into cos c minus d by two. Two cos of c plus d by two into cos c minus d by two. Eighteen eight plus six fourteen fourteen by six. Sorry, two is nothing but sorry. Eight minus six two by two is nothing but theta. So we get two cos seven theta into cos theta plus two. If you transpose to in here, we get cos seven theta into cos theta is equal to zero by anything we get zero. So a into b is equal to zero. J into b is equal to zero. Either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. That means cos seven theta is equal to cos seven theta is equal to zero or cos theta is equal to zero. We know that the general solution. We want the general solution. That we know that the general solution of cos x is equal to zero. Cos x is equal to zero. So x is equal to what? Odd multiples of pi by two. Odd multiples of pi by two. So cos x is equal to zero. X is equal to odd multiples of pi by two. That is seven theta is equal to odd multiples. Two n plus one into pi by two. Two n plus one into pi by two. Seven theta is equal to square root n is equal to zero. We want theta value. So theta is equal to if you transpose we get two n plus one into pi by seven to the forty. Where n is the value of theta. So theta is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 40. Theta is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 40 is the general general solution of given equation. Next, fourth one of the year. The general solution of tan 3x minus tan 3x by 1 plus tan 3x into tan 3x. We want the general solution. Also, we want that tan. A minus B is equal to tan A minus tan B by one plus tan A into tan B. Clear it is the form of tan A minus tan B by one plus tan A into tan B. Tan A minus tan B by one plus tan A into tan B. What is the form of tan B? This is tan A minus. So that can be written as tan A by A by tan B by tan B minus. That is tan A minus. B by B by B by two x is equal to what? Tan three x minus two x is equal to what? Tan three x minus two x. B by B by tan x is equal to tan one means tan five by four. Tan forty five by tan forty five by four. So tan x is equal to tan five by four. What is the general solution of tan x is equal to tan alpha? Tan x is equal to k means k x is equal to x is equal to y by y alpha. If tan x is equal to y, if tan x is equal to k, then x is equal to what? Y by y is equal to tan x. So we want the general solution that is x is equal to x is equal to y by y by plus alpha. Alpha is here. The principal solution is here. The y by four where n is equal to z. Where n is equal to z. So y by plus y by plus y by four is the general solution of the given case for both of them. The equation square root of three into sine x plus cos x is equal to four has how many solutions? One solution, two solutions, no solution. Let us discuss a little bit. Solution. Given that square root of three into sine x plus cos x, both are divided by two, we get by two is equal to clearly four by two. If you divide the denominator, that is. Separate the denominator. Denominator square root of three by two into sine x plus one by two into cos x is equal to zero. Okay. Square root of three by two in terms of cos. Square root of three by two. Square root of three by two in terms of cos is nothing but cos thirty value. Cos thirty value square root of three by two. So this can be written as cos thirty means pi by six into sine x. Plus one by two in terms of sine, that is sine thirty value. That is sine pi by six into cos x is equal to. It is clear which is the form of sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Sine a cos b plus cos a sine b is nothing but sine a plus b. That is sine x plus pi by six is equal to sine x plus pi by six is equal to. We know that the sine function is. We know that the sine function is clear. What is the point of the sine function? Minus one is less than or equal to sine theta is less than or equal to plus one. So sine function minus one is less than or equal to 
sin x plus pi by 6 is less than or equal to always plus. But here the value is how much? 2. Sin function is value to r. Why is how much? Always like will be minus 1 and 1 and 1 plus 1 including minus 1 and plus 1. So but here value is 5 by 2. So solution has so no solution. We get in this situation we get no solution. Why? Because Clearly, k is does not belong to k is k is does not belong to two zero one minus one comma plus. So in this situation, the one trigonometric equation has no solution. Has no solution. This is. Next also is this one. If tan theta plus secant theta is equal to square root of three, tan theta plus secant theta is equal to solution. Here we given that tan theta plus secant theta is equal to square root of three. What is the tan in terms of sine and cos? That is sine theta by cos theta plus secant theta is 1 by cos theta is equal to sum of square and half. If you do LCM, we get clearly cos is the LCM, so cos theta. In numerator, we get sine theta plus 1 is equal to sum of square and half. If you transpose cos theta from LHS of this, it will become manipulation quantity. Clearly, that is sin theta plus 1 is equal to square root of 3 into cos. If you transform sin theta plus 1 plus LHS to RHS, it becomes negative. That is, square root of 3 into cos and minus sin theta is equal to how much? Clear to 1. If you transform the whole into plus sin theta, it will become minus sin theta. Both sides divided by 2. Both sides divided by 2. Both sides divided by 2. We get and separate as numerator, we get square root of 3 by 2 into cos theta minus 1 by 2 into sin theta minus 1 by 2 into sin theta is equal to how much? 1 by 2. That is square root of 3 by 2. Square root of 3 by 2 in terms of sin. Square root of 3 by 2 in terms of sin. We have the sin 60 value. Square root of 3 by 2. So sin 5 by 3 cos theta minus cos in terms of 1 by 2, in terms of cos, that is 5 by 2, 3 by 2, clearly 1 by 2 into sin theta is equal to 1 by 2. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b clearly sin a minus b. That is sin 5 by 3 minus theta is equal to 1 by 2. Sin 5 by 3 minus theta. Sin 5 by 3 minus theta is equal to 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 can be expressed as so, sin 5 by 3 minus theta is equal to 1 by 2 means clearly that is sin 30 value 1 by 2. Sin 30 means sin 5 by 6, sin 5 by 6 value how much? 1 by 2. So, 5 by 3 minus theta is equal to how much? 5 by 6. So, we get 5 by 3 minus theta is equal to 5 by 6. What is the value of theta means? That is theta is equal to clearly 5 by 3 minus 5 by 6. If you transform, we get minus 5 by 6. So, 5 by 6. So, theta is equal to only 1. That is, LCM clearly 6, 3, 2, 6, 2, 5 minus 1, 5. That is equal to only 5 by 6. But we want pi plus 5 by 6 value. Pi plus 5 by 6 value. The principal value of the principal value of we want theta plus 5 by 6 is equal to theta plus 5 by 6 is equal to again we have 5 by 6 plus 5 by 6 clearly 2 pi by 6 to 1 to 3 we get 5 by 6 the principal value of theta plus 5 by 6 is clearly how much? 5 by 3 pi by 3 this is pi by 3 pi by 3 this is set up for the next the solution of the solution of sin x minus 2 whole square plus cos x minus 3 by 2 whole square is equal to 0. We want the solution. Sin x minus 2 whole square plus cos x minus 3 by 2 whole square is equal to 0 is solution we want. How do we know that a minus b whole square is equal to? A minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square or a square plus b square minus 2 a a square minus 2 a b plus b square. So a square, a square means we get here sin square x plus b square means we get plus 4 minus 2 a b minus 2 to the 4 
sin x plus again a minus b whole square means we get cos square x plus 3 pi 2 means 9 by 4 3 by 2 whole square means we get 9 by 4 minus 2 a b 2 times half 3 by 2 2 to get the answer we get here that is 3 cos x is equal to minus 0 2 a b 2 times half a b cos x into 3 by 2 2 into 2 into 3 by 2 into cos x 2 to get the answer we get only 3 cos x that is the answer so clearly sin square x plus cos square x value 1 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 plus 9 by 4 minus 4 sin x minus 3 cos x is equal to 0 so 1 plus 4 5 plus 9 by 4 is equal to 0 if you transfer we get 4 sin x plus 3 cos x 4 sin x minus 4 sin x if you transfer LHS to RHS we get plus here also we get plus so 4 sin x 4 sin x plus 3 cos x is equal to 4 by sin 20 20 plus that is 9 that is equal to 29 by 29 by so 4 sin x 4 sin x 4 sin x plus 3 cos x is equal to 29 by 4 means 4 7 is 28 there is 7.25 29 by 4 is almost 7.25 we want the solution we want the solution observe here maximum value of sin x is maximum of sin x one. maximum of cos x is equal to also 1 maximum if you take maximum value if you take maximum value of x that is sin x and cos x if you take maximum value here the other here 4 into 1 plus 3 into 1 we get 7 but here they get 7.25 we get 7.25 if you take sin and cos functions maximum value sin and cos functions maximum value sin function is maximum is 1 cos function is also maximum value 1 so maximum if you take maximum 4 into 1 we are in 1 4 3 into 1 3 4 plus 3 is 7 we get but here they get we get 7.25 so in this situation it has it has merely no solution why? Because of the real maximum. So if you take, if we take maximum value of sin x is clearly one. So four into one. Maximum value of cos x equals also one. Four plus three is how much? Seven. But they gave four sin x plus three cos x value seven point two five. Not at all get this answer. So in this situation, it has no solution. It has no solution. Next, the smallest positive value of x. Smallest, smallest positive value of x satisfying the value of that is log sin x, log sin x to the base cos x plus log cos x to the base sin x is equal to. How do we know that? Right here, log sin x to the base cos x plus. This can be written as 1 by that is clearly log sin x to the base cos x is equal to. We know that log a to the base is equal to 1 by log b to the base c. 1 by log b to the base c. How do we know that the first thing? Log and verse. So, this value plus this value is equal to here to 1. So, this is sin, log sin x to the base cos x plus 1 by log sin x to the base cos x value 2. That means this is value is 1 and 1 by log this value is also 1. Then only we get 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So if it satisfies, if and only if, if and only if the value that is log sin x to the base cos x value is equal to, is equal to how much? 1. Why? Because this value is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 by 1, nothing but 1 only. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So in this situation, that means this value, that means log sin x to the base x, the base cos x value compulsory is equal to 1. We know that a power x is equal to n, x is equal to log n to the base. a to the power x is equal to n, that is the exponential form, this is the logarithmic form. a power x is equal to n, this is the exponential form, what is the logarithmic form? x is equal to log n to the base, is the logarithmic form. 
So x n x is equal to log n to the b c. Log n to the b c. If you write this one, okay, that is clearly a power x. A power x is here x by one. So sine x is equal to we get cos x. Sine x is equal to cos x. By using a log n, that is a power x is equal to n. X is equal to log n to the b c. So sine x is equal to one. That is sine x for one. Sine x equal to cos x for one. We get one will be equal to sine x to the log sine x to the base cos x. Sine x equal to cos x. You can only use the least value. You can only use the least least cos least positive positive value. That is clearly x is equal to Pi by four, x is equal to pi by four. That means sine forty five value one by two and cos forty five value one by two. So the x sine x is equal to cos x. The only it stands for that is x is equal to pi by four. X is equal to pi. Or this can be written as sine cos. X can be written as sine nine.